hello everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i'll be completing an assignment for my web-based journalism class at the northern caribbean university yes i will be graded for this video and i need your help to join in the discussion by using the comment section down below to tell me your views let me know what you think about the positive and negative impact of social media on journalism so as a journalism student, I know that they are good and there is bad. So let me dive right into it. Fake news. Many times we go on the internet, we either we go on Twitter, which is very popular for news, Instagram also, Facebook, YouTube, and all the other social media platforms. And we see some stories, some news stories. And we read, they, they interest us and we read them. Some are not correct. The thing is, there's a rush for, for, for persons to put news out there. So it's, it's a race for who to go first, for who to post it first. What these persons do is just say what they think happened. They are not sure of the spelling of person's name. They must put out any spelling. They don't know the exact time of the incident. They are not trained professional like, us to know that we should have the who, the what, the where, the when, the why. So they just leave the elements and just put what they want to put. And most of these persons are citizen journalists. Citizen journalists are persons who act as journalists, but they are not professionals. They are out there in their homes, on the street, things happen and they just post new stories about them which many a times they are not correct these are they're they're called fake news they're incorrect the information that they put out for people to view are incorrect do you guys still buy newspaper comment down below and let me know if you still purchase a newspaper and read your newspaper i know persons who do i don't do it all the time but i do it sometime i mainly get my news from the apps the news apps like the these same gleaner star um, um observer what i what i do i get them through my the apps on my phone right so another person still get a tangible newspaper and there are also news entities like loop news they are online based they're they're only online they don't have a actual um place where they print their papers and send i get news from them as well so one of the days when people used to buy newspaper like every day and get more accurate news because there are their time for checks there's no rush like the rush that's happening now where everybody just try to put out everything as quickly as possible on um the online platforms another thing because we love social media so much we see some very sensational headlines where Persons are saying this happened and that happened and you, you click because you want to see. When you start to read the new story, what they said in the headline, you don't get it in that story that you're reading. So they use all this type of headline, to, some catchy, attractive headline to grasp, to grab the, the viewer's attention, the reader's attention, and then disappoint them. And that is really, really irritating and misleading. Another thing. Social media sometimes has no boundary, so you can post any and anything you want, and it's fine. And persons who are putting news out there, they want you to feel like you're there on the scene, so they just put out anything, they just grab anything and put it out there. It's not, it's not good. It's not good for persons. Some some people can be traumatized by the situation. So many things happening, and they don't care. They don't, they don't care for the persons who are grieve or who are in grief or they're their loved ones who had passed or was injured in the accident or whatever situation it is they just take everything and just put it out there just send it to your phone brap post it on the internet brap right so the old online the new the new media when when these things are circulated it is it is bad for journalism it is bad for these news entities when they just put out certain things I mean, not everyone, not all of them, but there are some who, s who put up some graphic pictures and video because it's because it's social media, because there's no rule, because there's no boundary. 
guys what do you think what do you think about these things going out there when whenever people see things like these they just stick out their phone video bam on the internet they're sending out as news as this just happened people doing it live there was an accident on the the bypass um some time ago and uh, um, persons were there live i mean have the phone over the people them live video you know on instagram on facebook just oh my it, it it is it is sad it's a sad reality i mean persons are dead you can't just do that you don't video and go home and edit and know what you're doing and put it you're alive anything happen anything any expletive any anything and for that in accident can happen and we see it like live <laughs> if it was the newspaper or the news or the the radio news the tv the newspaper that the the older media i mean we wouldn't have seen those graphic they they would be mindful of what they put out there to us as news in journalism there are ethics that we must follow right and we should have we should, we should have certain morals we can't just put anything out there and just send it out to people like that so trained professionals will know this now the positives the good stuff the good parts social media has revolutionized how people view news so today we now have the luxury of reading people's feedback so most of the time when these um, different entities put out their news on social media they have a comment section so persons can type what they they think or what they they, they feel about the situation and in some cases they can um insert pictures or different attachments you know of showing their expression or whatever so these feedbacks now the the news entities use these feedbacks to know um hope what people think about whatever they're saying there's like um uh constant communication then because they can comment they, they can reply to those comments and there can be a whole discussion on another a topic you understand and there are also entities who put out a further story based on what people have sent in the feedback section so this is very good this is this is absolutely stunning another plus you get the news now in news bites so no you, you no longer have to sit down and go through a long trail load of news sometime boring you get them in news bites so it is very quick and short and spicy you get to the point and you know the news people are on the go people have things to do so you're on social media you see news come up you just bust a read or bust a, a listen and you're going through digital news you just click and go through and you get the news you're up to date man yeah so that's great news bites are available guys aren't you excited that you can always get the news anytime you want on your mobile device or your laptop or your tablet i mean one time gonna just new when you miss news i miss news you have to catch midnight news or 10 30 news or whatever news i miss you catch the next one at a specific schedule time or on the radio if you miss it you just miss it you have to listen to another news nowadays all you need to do is just to type in whatever you want you can see news begun last week last month news will just happen anytime just have internet just have internet and you can access the news at your fingertips how good is that news is always accessible anytime you want at your own comfort when you also social media has a positive impact on the ability to promote stories so you know that persons are always on social media and if you want to get a story around quickly just put it on social media and it will be spreading a lot of person will be getting that news as fast as possible so if there's a breaking news or a pandemic or something that you want to tell the nation very quickly use social media you will never regret it everybody will hear as quick as possible because persons will be sharing from their different social media platforms one person have a lot of social media accounts for different platforms and when they share on all those platforms it reach very quickly it spread like wildfire so it reaches a large audience very quickly this also boosts global connectivity persons are now connecting with persons all over the world because of the news that they see on social media we are now connected 
because everyone is they are facing the same crisis so when the news are on social media and everybody just gather and share their views it brings a bond and it helps connection across the world if it was back then when it was just the news on tv or radio or newspaper you yes we know about the international news but when it's now on social media we can interact we couldn't interact with others internationally back then we just have to just read and know say yes this happened or see it on the tv and whatever but when it's on social media it gives a different feel it gives this whole feeling of connection and it helps persons to connect internationally and share their sympathy their solidarity on the internet let me know what you guys think about the overall discussion i'm looking forward for other great topics as well and definitely i'll try to respond to all the comments that you guys post it's a pleasure to share with you all today thank you thank you thank you <laughs> all right so take care until next time